Today we will learn introduction to coordinate system and linear graph. This shelf contains several boxes. Can you tell the location of this box? Think, think. Let me tell you, to determine the location of this box, we need the number of rows and number of columns. If we start with zero, from this corner, we can number the rows in this way. Similarly, we can number the columns in this way. Now, we can say that, the desired box is in the second column and the third row. This understanding of determining the location in a plane helps us in many situations such as to find the exact location of a seat in a theatre, to indicate the correct location of our house in a building, to indicate the correct location of a book in a library, etc. In all these situations, we unknowingly use the coordinate system. The method of expressing a position from a group of numbers is called the coordinate system. With the help of this method, we can determine the position of a point in a plane. For example, there is a graph paper showing the x-axis and the y-axis. They are perpendicular to each other. Their point of intersection is called origin. Assuming the origin point as zero, we represent numbers on the x-axis and the y-axis. If we take a point A on the graph, we can say that its position is represented by the number 2 of x-axis and number 3 of the y-axis. According to the coordinate system, we represent the location of point A, 2, 3 in this way. We say that 2, 3 is the coordinate of point A. It has 2, the x coordinate of point A and 3, the y coordinate of point A. Similarly, the position of point P on the graph can be expressed in the form of x coordinates and y coordinates xy in this way. If we are given the coordinate of a point, then with the help of these, we can determine the position of the point in the plane. This process is called Plotting of points. Here are some points and their coordinates. Can you plot them using the coordinate method? Try it by pausing the video. Let me tell you, we see that the x coordinate of point A is 1, which tells us that we have to move one unit to the right from the original point. Since the y coordinate is 2, we now have to move two units up. We will mark point A at place obtained. Similarly, will you be able to find the location of point B? Try it. Absolutely right. The location of B can be found from x coordinate 2 and y coordinate 4. Similarly, we can show the location of point C and point D in this way. Let's connect all these points with line segments. You can see that line segments AB, BC and CD lie in the same line. Thus, if all the line segments in a graph are part of a single line or in same line, then such a graph is called a linear graph. We will understand it better by some examples in the next video. Today we have learned introduction to coordinate system and linear graph. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to it.